Howdy, partner. I spent the past week or so working on this animation, and I designed it specifically to be used as a stream alert, whether you stream on Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, or whatever platform. Look at that. And I'm making it available to you for free. You can already find it right here at gumroad.com slash gallevel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly set it up with Stream Elements or Streamlabs. Let's start with Stream Elements. This is the result that we're kind of going for. But in order to get there, we have to take a few steps. From your dashboard, you wanna go under Streaming Tools and click on Overlays. We're gonna set up a new overlay. 1080p is fine, and we're gonna add a new widget. That new widget will be under Alerts, and it will be the Alert box. All right, so now the first thing we want to do is set up our position, size, and style. And in this case, I'm gonna make it smaller than it really is. The full animation is 1080p 60fps, just to avoid messing with the default text size. So for my width, I'm gonna go 750, and the height will be 400. All right, let's go back to settings and let's click on the cogwheel next to follow alert. From there, I can click change video. On the right side here, click upload and then you can drag and drop the file or just click here and find it, okay? Now, I already have my file here, so I'm just gonna go to videos and I'm just gonna click submit. Immediately here, I'm gonna set um, text on top of image. I'm gonna set the alert duration to eight seconds because that's what the animation is. And we can already test it by going down here, clicking on emulate and emulate follow event. Animation looks good, but we don't see the text. So let's go to text settings and on top where it says advanced, we're going to click on that and we're going to set the margin to something else because right now it's basically out of frame. I'm going to set this to 170 and you can kind of see a little preview of it right here. And while I'm here, I can play with the highlight color. Since it's a follow, I like to put that red. All right, so now we can test it again. Okay, almost done. We just need the text to wait a little bit before it shows up. And that's a setting that we're gonna find under animation. So all the way to the bottom, you'll see animation settings. Click on that. And here you'll find text animation settings. Now you can set it to whatever you want. However, I really like the flip out X because it's kind of 3D. I'm gonna set the duration to two seconds for this one. Text appearance delay, basically how much it wants to wait before the text appears. We're gonna set that to 1.5 seconds. And then we'll set the text disappearance offset to about two seconds. This one is a little finicky. You might have to play around with it a little bit. Now we can test it and it should look right. Boom, boom, text appears animation plays, and then it will do its exit animation. And there you go. Of course, there's a bunch of other settings, so you can really, really customize it the way you want. For example, I really like uh, to change the font to one called New Rocker. Bump up the size a little bit to 34, and that's how you get this style. And from there, it's pretty simple. You want to name the overlay. Then top right, you want to save the overlay. And then you want to click copy overlay URL. From there in OBS Studio, you want to add a new browser source. Name it whatever you want. We're gonna have this pop up. You want to replace the link with the link you just copied. And then the width, remember it was 750 by 400. And from there you can test it again. And there it is. Now, if you want the same alert for all of your alerts, you'll have to repeat those steps. But if you don't use Stream Elements and you use Streamlabs instead, the setup is actually much simpler. You want to go to your alert box settings, in this case, follows. Just like before, we want the layout to be text over image. Then on image, you want to click on that little upload button, which brings you here. On top here, click or drag to upload. You click, you find the file. It's going to be one WebM file. You bring it, you click on it once to select it, and then you click select bottom right. Here, there's the message template. I suggest you make it shorter. Instead of thank you name for the follow, we can be like name followed or name is now following. The shorter it is, the bigger you can make the text. Alert duration, you want that to be eight seconds. Text delay, about one second. It's 1.5, but you'll see. For the sound, this is where you put whatever sound you want to put. And then we have text highlight color. Let's set that to red. And on the right here, you have alert animation. It doesn't need to fade in, so we're going to set this one to none. And then fade out is fine. We can preview it. So the text is a little early, but it doesn't really matter. The, the alert is gonna be fast anyways. Also, Streamlabs doesn't have a text disappearance offset, unfortunately. To be fair, you can definitely control that kind of stuff in the CSS, but I wanna keep this as simple as possible. So what we can do to remedy that is set the alert duration to seven seconds. So basically it disappears about one second early. Boom, boom. 
so that it doesn't have like a too much of an offset between the text and the actual switch. There you go, from there, save your settings, go up top here, click on here to copy the URL, and do the same thing with the browser source. Just paste the link, and from the website, you can click on test right here, and click on follows. And there you have it. So now you get to live stream your favorite Switch 2 games with an alert that matches the vibe. Once again, it's a single WebM video file with transparent background. It's completely free, but if you do want to tip, you can set an amount and actually gift that. If you have some ideas for some cool 3D alerts, let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure you set your notifications to all so you don't miss out on the next one.